say you are king mambo shapa kapati balata king of kings you're the lord of lords the great one we give you praise we worship you blessed be your name oh hallelujah Lord, we give you praise. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Every miracle service, God is not doing the same thing. Are you listening to me? There is always an emphasis in the spirit. Yes, people will be healed blessed but in every miracle service there is an emphasis according to the hunger and the desire of God's people hallelujah their hunger and their desire compels him to move his anointing and emphasize certain things about his name praise the Lord so don't just come for the October miracle service believing that you're just going to see people devils casted out and all of this there is an emphasis in the spirit and our job is just to guide our direction so that we can receive the things that god has for us hallelujah these revelations govern the kinds of songs that we sing we're not just singing because we are looking for songs hallelujah these songs are coming from the depth of our spirit attempting to synchronize with the heavenlies the things that the angels of the lord are doing hallelujah father we thank you because of the things you will do tonight glorify your son in the name of jesus walk up to 50 people give them a great big hug tell them it's good to see you and i know the lord will bless you make sure you're smiling and you're greeting someone it's part of the rule here we love one another Keep whatever mindset you came with and make sure you are hugging someone. Hug your friends and enemies. Hallelujah. Now give God a big shout of praise and be seated. You are not shouting like you trust what you will be doing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Now, tonight's miracle se service is in two sections. The first section is a Bible study. Hallelujah. And then... The second session is a ministration. So pick up your Bibles. Please sit down. There's no time. We need to get into business immediately. The business of the night. Our job, remember that what we do here is twofold. Listen, please. The first is to minister to God's people. The second is to equip us so that we become the miracle workers. If you believe that, say amen. First John 5, 4. Please make sure you are writing. There's no assumption we are serious with God in this place please and please if this is your first time we welcome you get a clean sheet of paper and a biro please make sure you write we take God seriously in this place outside we apologize for those of you standing hallelujah praise the Lord first John 5 4 If you're there, say amen. Let's read together. One, two, read. For whatever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. One more time, please read. Overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Praise God. While I began to seek the face of the Lord, to know the direction he would be taking us the miracle service um, 
before I continue, I want to appreciate every servant of God in this place. Praise the Lord. I want us to especially appreciate the senior pastor of Living Faith Church. Please appreciate him, Pastor Moses. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you. We celebrate you. Every other minister of God, we thank you. Um, Dr. Steve, we thank you. Pastor Williams, Pastor Steve, thank you so much and God bless you. Hallelujah. And any other minister of God seated inside and outside, we love you and we celebrate you. Pastor Alpha, thank you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, the Lord began to talk to me about the thing that he will want to do in this place tonight. And our Bible study will be around two words. It's going to be pure Bible study. I'll do less of talking. We're going to open our Bibles because I want us to get revelation and get an understanding. Hallelujah. The difference between a herbalist and a servant of God, please look up. Among the many differences, one of the clear differences between a herbalist and a servant of God is that a herbalist performs magic and ministers simply deliver the word by the leadership of the spirit and the Holy Ghost confirms his word with signs following. Are you following please? So we're not just some magicians coming to do abracatabra and then heal the sick and set men free. No, we believe in Jesus Christ. He is Lord in this place. Hallelujah. And we believe that nothing can be done outside of God's word and that it is on account of God's word that his anointing flows to bless people. Praise God. So we are not just gift conscious. We are conscious of the word of God. Out of the revelation of God's word, we can dispense our gifts. Then you will understand that it is a product of the word. The Bible says, and the Lord walking with them, confirming the word, not their faces, not their voices, confirming the word. So everything that will happen tonight to the glory of God will be a confirmation. Hallelujah. So please make sure you participate because as I teach, the Lord told me that as I teach, several miracles and breakthroughs will begin to happen to people. So I want you to believe and to connect. Say amen. amen. Now, two words we'll be discussing tonight. One is called limitation. Please write limitation. limitation and the other word is breakthrough all that god will be doing tonight will be centered around this limitation and breakthrough hallelujah praise god now a limitation uh, this is a dictionary definition we're doing bible study so there's no rema we're going straight and making sure it enters your spirit a limitation is a restriction an undue restriction when we say a man is limited we mean you are restricted you are confined there a, a limitation means a setback a limitation means a disadvantage a flaw a weakness an obstruction hallelujah so when we say a man is limited he lacks the capacity to move to the fullness of his potentials or the will of God for his life as a result of regardless of what the factors are it's called a limitation do you understand so when we say a man is limited we mean the man is incapacitated the man is there is a setback there is a factor that is impeding your advancement and your progress limiting you stopping you from making the necessary steps say amen please let me have two people here any two people hallelujah now Aaron you stand there let's call Aaron destiny please Ruben stand in the middle let me have one more person thank you pastor Alpha. please just stand facing me now try to stop me from moving everybody watch this now I'm trying to move what do we call this a resistance are you following me now this is called a limitation this is my divine destiny this is my prophetic destiny as far as the word of god is concerned but what happens in the journey you face what a limitation are you listening to me now regardless of why it came is not the issue it is still called a limitation are you following me now 
and so this is what a resistance and it has the danger about a limitation is it possesses the capacity to stop you from reaching your divine destiny are you listening to me for as long as this limitation stands before me although there is a place that has been prepared in destiny there is a seat of glory there is a seat of honor i am unable to access are you listening to me praise god now let me show you another dimension of limitation please don't hear my suit but just gently hold it hallelujah praise god now try to ah this is risky <laughs> hold Aaron <own> shirt <laughs> praise god now please don't hear his shirt i don't know if the welfare department has made arrangement for any <laughs> praise god now watch this try to pull him back Aaron come this is your divine destiny what do we call this a limitation are you following me now please this is what a setback this guy wants to move forward he desires to move forward because there is a divine destiny Aaron concentrate I'm using you to teach <laughs> hallelujah there is a divine say, say after me divine destiny. divine destiny according to God's word now this guy wants to make progress but what happens there are factors limiting him and as long as those factors are not dealt with what happens to his destiny his destiny will be aborted and do you realize that the destiny of every man on the earth is time tagged meaning you do not have all the time are, are you understanding me so what is a limitation is a resistance what is a limitation an obstacle what is a limitation a setback a flaw a disadvantage whatever has the capacity to impede you hallelujah and stop you from entering that dimension that prophetic dimension for you now there is a journey listen to me from the promise to the manifestation of that promise are you listening to me now a lot of people think when you find truth in god's word it automatically happens people say i find it i believe it that settles it that's not true we've taught here again that that does not settle it there are principles please are you following me because if you are here desiring a miracle and we believe that god is able to bring that miracle then it means that we must be able to find out what spiritual principles he has created to address the limitations are you following me are you blessed do you understand do you understand god bless you please appreciate them the next thing i'm talking about is breakthrough what is breakthrough you hear people say breakthrough spiritual breakthrough academic breakthrough we have posters of meetings and they say come healing deliverance breakthrough what does it mean to break through it comes from two words break hallelujah it's not called open through it's called what breakthrough praise the lord what is a breakthrough a breakthrough is a significant and dramatic overcoming of a perceived obstacle significant take note of the words and what dramatic a significant and dramatic overcoming that's why we started with that scripture it says whatsoever is born of god possesses in itself the capacity to overcome the world and this is that victory that overcomes even our faith are you following tonight so a breakthrough is what There are two kinds of soils or three kinds of soils taught in scripture good word falls in different kinds of soils there are certain soils that receive the word and forget immediately and the enemy come and he steals his some fall on rocky grounds in the name of jesus we declare that every soil in this place is a good soil in the name of jesus nothing was wrong with the word but the soil and even among the good soil there were three kinds 30 fold 60 fold and 100 fold i pray that we have 100 fold returning soils here yeah. hallelujah so a breakthrough is what 
a significant and dramatic overcoming of a perceived obstacle remember we said a limitation is an obstacle so we can say breakthrough is when you overcome limitations are you following me now thus allowing the completion of a process that means that limitations and all these things come to impede a process you are in a process to achieve something and then what happens there is a limitation through whatever mechanism you use by the time you overpower those limitations so that you are able to continue your journey or attain on to the thing that made you to start that journey we say you have broken through i pray that the lord will cause someone to break through in a dramatic way tonight yeah. hallelujah like jang far rightly said there are not many people i know that god has helped a lot of people in the area of healing and the rest but there are several areas of our lives where we have faced limitations of all sorts and tonight by the anointing of god's spirit there will be a breaking forth a breaking through the bible says in isaiah 54 it says you will break forth on the left and on the right on the north on the east hallelujah praise the lord three things that cause limitations in the lives of people or really four but one is an exception number one please this is a bible study make sure you're writing media people help our online members so that they follow three things that cause limitations number one ignorance 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 of god's plan ignorance of god's word ignorance of god's principles say after me ignorance not just ignorance ignorance of god's word ignorance of his principles ignorance of his ways hallelujah mark chapter 12 verse 24 please turn your bible let's hurry up now arise O oh lord come to your resting place you and the ark of your might and then we will rejoice as we're crowned in your righteousness we celebrate your love verse 24 are you there mark 12 24 and jesus answering said unto them do ye not therefore err why because ye know not the scripture neither the power of god so why do people err because they know not he said you err the word air there does not just mean mistake hallelujah you fall you don't get results because you do not know the scriptures nor the power of god there are so many believers who love god but are ignorant of god's plan ignorance of god's ways and listen to me let me stop by to say something we are in trouble if we only train a church that is built upon signs and wonders are you listening to me you know that we believe in signs and wonders very soon many of you will be shocked at what god will do in this place but let me tell you the truth the bible says he showed his ways to moses but his acts to the nation of israel remember we discussed last week praise god and so it's not enough to know that god is a miracle worker it's not enough to know that god can bless that god can lift that overnight god can turn anybody's situation that's not potent enough we must be able to understand his principles how do you live from point a to point b are you following me now if you understand kingdom principles you can reproduce results again and again and again hallelujah praise the lord dr steve for instance is a great lecturer in the faculty of arts and he has been there for so long 
only god knows how many projects he has had to i mean sign out for students and how many people why because he has a principle hallelujah and that principle can bring a hundred level student from hundred level and do what graduate that student are you following me now if you are in english for instance you will find out that since the 80s there have been people graduating from english is that correct and by the time you know what they know they will give you a degree are you following me now principles make life predictable principles make life predictable principles are the sign that god is just and he's fair unto all men are you following me please so ignorance in the word of god psalm 82 verse 5 the bible says they know not neither do they understand and so they grope in darkness what is darkness absence of light absence of illumination the bible says through wisdom a house is built and by understanding it is established it said through knowledge the the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing hallelujah ignorance is a terrible thing and there are so many believers that equate knowledge to longevity of christian work it's not the same that a man has been born again 10 years does not mean the person has knowledge of the kingdom of god are you listening to me there are yarrow boys who have been walking around samaru and around the university environment for decades does that make them students they know when students go on break they know when students resume they know when there is strike but are they students so that you are hanging around the kingdom are you listening to me coming to church sharing the grace sitting down does not mean you are growing hallelujah it is the degree of the word of god that you have heard you have believed that's why you see the bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing it's not enough to just come once and say wow i got it how many of you have gone to read for students and you are so sure that you have gotten something and then two weeks later you forget you solve the question and now you cannot even remember what you did because it takes more than once repetition is a powerful principle so when you keep listening to the word of god what happens there is a programming of your mindset there is forget about the temporary setbacks there is a programming of your mindset it says meditate on these things give yourself wholly to them that your profiting may appear unto all first timothy chapter 4 verse 15 meditate on these things pour yourself in them give yourself wholly to them that your profiting maybe not immediately but certainly will appear unto all say my profiting will appear unto all say it like you mean it my profiting will appear unto all hallelujah there are many people who the limitations that they have to face right now in the church we blame satan for everything everything especially with the era of prophets who are always seeing something about somebody's life there are all kinds and many people because of the inability to take responsibility over their lives we have mastered the art of transferring responsibilities to people and so we just say it's because there is one woman in my village those who it is true and those who is not true they all say i know there is somebody praise the lord knowledge is a great asset in the kingdom hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 the prophet lamenting said my people perish the first shock is god calls them my people so that you are his people it's not a guarantee that you will prosper my people although they are my people they perish why for lack of knowledge the knowledge of god's ways hallelujah that's why the moment listen to me let me tell you something the ministry that will help you become strong is the ministry that will take out time to teach you the word are you listening that's why we take three weeks to teach 
the word to sit in God's atmosphere we are not always laying hands on people and ministering if we do that way you will find the gifts of the Holy Spirit manifesting in your life but you will not grow into maturity hallelujah Jesus raised the apostles by teaching them day and night they were under his teaching the Bible says they continued in the doctrines of the apostles breaking bread from house to house they continued not that they started and left off are you following me now so coming for meetings is not just a ritual you are exposing yourself to the power of God's Word again and again you are learning principles that are capable he said i commend you to the word of his grace that is able to make you wise and then to give you to deliver unto you an inheritance among them that are sanctified i commend you to god and to the word of his grace that has the capacity to make you wise and the bible says wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding exalt her and she shall promote you she will put an ornament of glory a crown of glory shall she deliver upon your head when thou dost embrace her hallelujah ignorance is a terrible thing what area of your life have you been experiencing ignorance I'm not just talking in the word like Bible or ministry in your life in your work in your job there are lots of people that celebrate ignorance and in this part of the world we do not value knowledge at all we like results we don't like the process that's why people like church and they have put pressure on men of God to deliver results without a process so people say look the the end is the end does what justifies the means that's not true it matters how the result comes because a day will come when you will have to reproduce that result by yourself without any assistance and jesus told them he said i'm about to go i've taught you many things and they said no jesus you can't go he said don't worry the comforter will come and continue hallelujah say i reject ignorance in my life there are lots of people that that cannot invest in knowledge the bible says buy the truth sell it not i tell you ignorance is a terrible thing in ministry in every area of your life there are many people who are poor in their jobs and keep shouting and say we are not promoted but they are not good they are not competent hallelujah there are so many christians that come and say prophet pray for me this contract is coming i want to get the truth is they are not good you give them roads they are not going to build it well and let me tell you something the fact that you bear a christian name does not mean god will break his principles because of you are you following me consistently refuse to be satisfied with the level that you are the greatest enemy of success is the last one you had the bible says forgetting the things that are behind i press forgetting the successes and the achievements i press how many of you have a desire let me tell you something there are many there are subtle realms of knowledge that can render satan powerless in your life are you following me now Praise the Lord. Say, I receive grace for knowledge. Let's continue. Number two, disobedience to God and His ways. Causes of limitations. Disobedience to God and His ways. Joshua chapter 5, verse 6. Joshua chapter 5, verse 6. Thank you, Jesus. We hail you, Most High. Joshua chapter 5.
verse 6 are you there let me read it for the children of israel walked 40 years in the wilderness till all the people who were men of war who came out of egypt were consumed because what they obeyed not the voice of the lord the god of the lord unto whom the lord swore that he would not show them the land which the lord swore unto their fathers that he would give us the land that flowed with milk and honey listen to me let me tell you something the the price of disobedience is not worth it or the consequences there are many people and many families that are disobeying the principles of god yet they want to be blessed yet they want god to increase them hallelujah when you are involved in bribery and corruption and giving tips and then you believe that god will bless you it can't work that way when you are involved as a student in malpractice and you say it does not matter i'm a new creation in christ hallelujah i'm telling you here that satan is not sovereign are you listening to me we have promoted satan and made him sovereign satan needs an access point to create limitations and this is one of it ignorance number two disobedience disobedience jeremiah chapter 9 jeremiah chapter 9 from verse 13 for many of us this is our miracle already starting jeremiah chapter 9 it's not just about saying oh let's pray or receive no 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 jeremiah chapter 9 if you are there say amen verse 13 and the lord said because they have forsaken my law which i set before them and have not obeyed my voice neither walked in it but have walked after the imagination of their own heart and after balim which their fathers taught them therefore thus saith the lord of hosts the god of israel behold i will feed them even these people with warm wood and give them water of god to drink is that in your bible there are severe consequences there are many people there are many ministries there are many homes for instance who are perpetually under a close heaven financially and in other in, in other sense and you trace the sincere truth is that most of them before we even talk about satan we are going to come to the issue of satan but you see that there are other principles we just turn everything and say it's satan no satan is not omniscient satan is not omnipresent satan is not omnipotent he is not sovereign hallelujah that means he is limited hallelujah the bible talks about our typing as what opens the the windows of heaven i emphasize this all the time if you're not a faithful tighter i tell you even if they make you the president of this country you will be poor i assure you scriptures cannot be broken this has nothing to do with age this has nothing to do with gender this has nothing to do with qualification it says bring ye all the tithes malachi chapter 3 from verse 8 to 12 into the storehouse that there may be meat in my house and the bible says prove prove me now here which said the lord if i will not open the windows of heaven and shower upon you a blessing that you will not have room enough to receive the next verse says and i will rebuke the devourer for your sake he shall not destroy the fruit of your ground neither shall your vine cast its young before its time he said you will be blessed and you shall be a delightsome land seven prophetic blessings that follow a tither 
you either obey it and reap the blessings or argue it and explain it away hallelujah luke 6 38 the bible says give and it shall be given unto you good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give philippians 4 19 and my god many of us say my god shall supply my needs no that was a blessing from a receiver speaking to those who had been given and my god paul speaking shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by christ jesus bible says he that soweth sparingly shall reap sparingly he that soweth bountifully shall reap bountifully many of us have been massaged with all kinds of demonic teachings the size of your seed doesn't matter don't you understand english the bible says he that soweth sparingly shall reap what sparingly he that sows bountifully shall reap bountifully it says every man according as he has purpose in his heart so let him give cheerfully and not grudgingly for god loves a cheerful giver next verse and god is able to make all grace abound towards you so that ye having all sufficiency in all things may abound unto good works all good works hallelujah bible says there is he that scattered and increased there is he that withholded more than his meat and tends to poverty are you following me so this is not an issue of guesswork many of us are waiting in hope that one day in the sweet by and by god will just come anyhow and change my story i assure you if you don't take steps towards your destiny you will be surprised are you getting blessed tonight oh i'm great yes but the bible says that see it thou a man diligent are you diligent in training your skills training the the grace and the gifts that god has given you you believe you are going to be an international writer what are you doing about it the bible says iron sharpened iron he said by the truth when you live by the principles of god's word is one way of moving away from limitation disobedience hallelujah many believers walk in so much disobedience and they give satan access for instance the bible says what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness and what communion has light got to do with darkness there are many of our families and i will not be surprised some of us who mix christianity with african tradition are you following me when things get so bad everybody said talk they say come back home just come back home this issue is is too much and now what happens everybody goes let me tell you jesus christ is either lord of all or he's not are you listening to me there are many of us that when things get bad we just say see keep this issue of christianity aside my uncle did this they said we should do this they said we should bribe this we should do that let me tell you something you cannot violate god's principle and expect his blessing are you learning something because god is already doing miracles in our lives number three satan and demonic forces the causes of limitations satan now this is where we we'll talk about satan let me assure you brothers and sisters that satan is on a mission that he will never stop till jesus comes and that mission is to ensure you do not become a success in life are you listening to me you don't need to do anything you just need to be born that's all you just need to be born jesus is born and the next thing satan the spirit of the antichrist begins to move through herod and what happens he begins to search for where jesus is he was a baby hallelujah and so many of us say satan i won't trouble you don't trouble me 
and i hear a lot of people teach they say you go to the enemy's camp and steer the waters that's why that's not true that's not true jesus went to fast satan followed him is that true he followed him waited for him to finish fasting at the 40th day he came let me show you something first hmm. thessalonians 2 verse 18 we are doing a bible study first thessalonians 2 verse 18 this is the real miracle service the miracle of listening to the word first thessalonians 2 verse 18 for time's sake i'll start reading this was paul speaking wherefore we would have come unto you even i paul once and again but satan did what hindered us is it in your bible let's read together if you are there one to read verse 18 wherefore we would have come unto you even i paul once and again but what happened who hindered them what were they doing did they look for his trouble he said but satan hindered us there are many families many lives many destinies i tell you the truth and they have been hindered by satan hallelujah and the danger is that many families are not open to accept that they need help there are many believers that need help but they will never humble themselves in the mighty presence of god i'm a pastor i am a this i am a that in our church we believe glory things are working you are dying and satan hindered us we wanted to come to you but satan built a limitation and a resistance can i tell you something satan does attack people matthew chapter 13 verse 27 and 28 thank you lord jesus if you're following me say hallelujah if you're learning something say praise the lord matthew 13 are you there let's hurry up verse 27 this was the parable of the wheat and the tears let's read on 27 so the servants of the householder came and said unto him sir did not thou sow good seed in thy field from where then had it had it tears 28 he said unto them what he said unto them what an enemy had done this an enemy many of you have blamed yourself for everything could it be that the sincere efforts of your parents and your family members are being impeded by satanic and all kinds of demonic things see that's why the bible says, judge not judge not don't just sit down and conclude things about families and look and say lazy man the man doesn't go to job mm -mm. the bible says judge not hallelujah there are many families here that are under all kinds of satanic attack and it's because of the prophetic destinies of those families or those individuals john 10 10 said the thief cometh not but what still to kill and to destroy brothers and sisters satan attacks people i have seen demons in the spirit being sent on assignments before you think he's just men of god everybody has a share of it satan is desperate it's just that he's more desperate about some people than others because affecting others will cause others to fall are you listening to me these are the three major causes major causes of limitation in the life of believers the fourth is an exceptional one but then i must i want you to note it why is it exceptional i put it in a, a different category god's dealing and prophetic timing god's dealing 
and prophetic timing in a man's life there are times that god himself will put limitations because certain prophetic seasons have not come luke 1 verse 80 the bible speaking about john the baptist it says and john remained the word remained there means he was constrained in the wilderness until his season of appearance are you following me now so john was there he would want to manifest but god will hold him back and say no there is a time i'm teaching you this so that you can discern when it, you are walking in god's timing and god's prophetic dealing in your life and when it is an attack from satan you're my glory the lifter up of my hand job 14 verse 14 Job made an interesting statement. He said, All the days of my appointed time will I wait until my change comes. Why will Job make that statement? Appointed. Some scriptures say, Ordained time. He said, Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set. this teaching will make you matured in the spirit are you following me now so there is an appointed time so you can see a man in ministry and he has not expanded based on your definition but it's not satan stopping him he's digging root downwards and the remnant of the house of jacob shall bear root downwards are you listening to me you can see a lady who god has called into ministry and all of these things and maybe certain things have not yet happened in her life are you following me now but there is a waiting until the appointed time so not every limitation just comes from satan as we follow up i will help you to see hebrews chapter 5 verse 8 let's see something that happened to even jesus christ himself hebrews 5 thank you jesus are you getting blessed tonight hebrews 5 verse 8 it starts with a very shocking statement you know see i tell you i love the word of god because sometimes the way it presents itself it just reads your mind and writes it there listen he said though he were a son though he were a son he said yet he learned obedience by the things which he what look up look up did jesus live a sinless life did jesus live a sinless life of course he did of course he did the bible says he was tempted in every way just like us yet without sin so what is the bible saying here that though he were a son yet he learned obedience in other words there were certain processes that were required to make jesus who he is there were certain okay orchestrations of the spirit like his birth like different things and the bible says he learned the word land obedience there is that he was constrained to come into a life of obedience through the things he suffered it's not just that he studied land no i know you know about the interplay of greek and hebrew words sometimes the words the synonyms that are used there the word land there does not just mean he study you don't study obedience Obe real obedience is a product of experiences are you listening to me hmm. he learned obedience by the things that he suffered thank you jesus for instance he had to wait for 30 years before he got into a ministry of three and a half years by at age 12 he was already he was already shocking the doctors of that time 
Many of us would have just jumped and said, wow, at this level, what happened? I mean, but he waited. Moses, listen to me. The timings of God in the life of a man is very important. I was talking to someone today and then I was talking to him a lot about timing. Where God has brought us today, all the ministers by the grace of God, I tell you the truth, it's not just impartation and receive. There are certain things we are able to counsel people today because some of us have become guinea pigs to the revelation God wants us to minister to people. And Paul said, death works in us. That life will work in you. Are you following me now? Oftentimes in scripture, God will make the prophet to marry a prostitute because he wanted them to feel the halotry of the nation of Israel. And will make a prophet to sleep on one side of the bed for one year and walk naked for two years. What kind of madness is that? And then when he has the burden upon his heart, he will send him. I know this is not a very nice message but for great people this is a great message we don't deceive people in this place we bring the unadulterated truth of God's word are you following me now the Bible says when Jesus was born because of a limitation Herod got up and wanted to kill Jesus what happened the angel told Jesus he said look Although this is his prophetic destiny, he will have to wait for a while until Herod dies. Are you following me now? That seemed to be a delay. I, I mean, he has an agenda. He just has 33 years. But he said, because Herod wants to kill him. Can I tell you something? The fact that God told, said they should run away with Jesus meant he could die. If they disobeyed, they would have killed Jesus. I assure you. God will not ask Herod to, I mean Joseph, to run away with the child if he could not die. They would have killed him and he would have aborted the plan of destiny. Are you following me now? Because he laid aside his divine life and was human. So the prophetic timings of God because I understand there are many ministries that put pressure on people after six months they say you need to show that your faith is working till now you are not buying any suit you are an embarrassment to the kingdom till now you are not doing this why 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 are you driving a b2 till now you are supposed to get a jeep no no there is a process are you listening to me you sow your seed today and you say God my harvest must come mm -mm. if the cloud be full of rain they will empty themselves your job is to keep obeying your act of faith here is that you have not seen the result but you count him faithful and so you keep obeying i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him do you believe this about your life <laughs> can i tell you one shocking truth many people will not tell you every word you claim to believe will be tried in your lifetime i assure you are you listening to me micah 7 verse 8 rejoice not over me my enemies he said for i will rise that's why you can see certain families because they are trusting god they didn't promote the father they didn't promote the mother and many people just look and say these people is good for them no the day they will bounce into glory for god is able to take a man from a dunk hill if you if you would have seen us years ago when we were trying to go for a crusade we were raising the the transport money while people were boarding the car in main gate is that true but we counted him faithful let me tell you something we were not laughing those times those were times of tears she there are two kinds of sowing there's the one you give cheerfully there is the one you give in tears are you listening to me that's the one that will touch you he said they that sow in tears the kind of sacrifice that you ask yourself am i a fool He said they will reap in joy he said he that weepeth holding his precious seeds
kneeling the ground and crying but saying lord i count you faithful you are crying but you are saying i won't sleep with any man i'm sowing a seed of a glorious destiny you are crying and saying, if he meets me selling akara i will walk in the dignity of god's word i won't give anybody bribe and tips i won't do any malpractice no matter how many years i will stay for if you turn aside in the day of battle my bible tells me your strength is small there are many believers who are just sugar-coated christians result-oriented christians and we are unable to stand the test of time are you are you listening to something tonight if this is all we do tonight is what the miracle service hallelujah so don't be under pressure many people are under pressure to prove that the word of god is working you have money you want to go and buy suit god will say sow it just sow it you want to go and eat food god will say buy a dex bible and you are sowing in fastings in prayers nobody see you but he who sees you in the secret i tell you as surely as the heavens are above the earth will reward you openly When we were on campus we had a, all kinds of pastors all kinds of people and there were people who believed they had entered their rest with pas and all kinds of things we were behind behind trees behind buildings traveling in the spirit and learning the precepts of god we will do terrible things in righteousness and come back and just remain I remember how many times a number of pastors came and met me and said, Adel, some Jews are not working in your level of anointing. Do something, start a radio program, a prophetic or this and that. To the point that PFN, when we went for crusade, PFN said they are affording us an auditorium to come and start a branch of our ministry. This was as far back as 2006. And would have been happy to call it breakthrough. But we understand that certain limitations are not just from Satan. They are prophetic orchestrations to keep us exactly into our seasons. All the days of my appointed time. I will wait. Oh, I will wait. Until my change comes. And then God begins to bless you. And people say, and when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream he said then our mouths were filled with laughter then said they among the hidden the lord has done great things to them he said turn again our captivity as it were the rivers of negev he said he that sows in tears will reap in joy listen to me don't be ashamed to sow in tears for as surely as the lord the god of heaven lives you will reap in joy i'm not just talking of money are you listening to me you think God has called you. Now is not the time to start printing posters and running around. Now is the time to get up and begin to buy books. Sit down in fastings, in prayers, in much traveling until you become mighty in scripture and full of the Holy Ghost. Then at your time of appointment, God will speak. This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. And he will command the world to hear you. Nobody will not be able to hear you have to rush what do you need to be in place to experience breakthrough remember we said breakthrough is the breaking of limitations number one you must surrender totally to Jesus notice I didn't say you must I'm not just talking of born again hallelujah because there are many people who jesus has become savior to but he is not yet lord total surrender acts chapter 4 verse 12 but there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must receive soteria healing salvation deliverance breakthrough no other name not the name of any pastor any apostle any prophet they are only vessels but there is a name the name of the lord jesus christ and tonight we come in that name to challenge the works of darkness 
the bible says for this purpose was the son of man made manifest that he may destroy annihilate liquidate the works of the evil one hallelujah surrender totally matthew chapter 11 verse 28 i'm taking our time to show us these scriptures because i want us to be grounded and to receive the things that god has for us matthew 11 verse 28 come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest i tell you there are many people who are struggling with things in their lives and the solution is to live your way of life and come to jesus christ this is not just luring you to be a christian jesus said i am the way i am reality and i am the life so tonight i believe that god is speaking to some people here inside and outside you came here with burdens and sorrows you have tried and you've you've done everything to you know to do the lord is asking you tonight why don't you lay your burden why don't you come to his feet and lay your burden and say lord enough is enough there are families that are receiving all kinds of burdens they are not supposed to be carrying surrender totally to jesus christ hallelujah see because you cannot bless a man who the word of god is against are you listening to me you are not born again the word of god is already against you because the bible says he who does not believe in him is already condemned hallelujah you don't believe the word of god and you're saying all the i want to receive from god but me i don't want to become a child of god no it doesn't work that way hallelujah number two you must go for knowledge and understanding of the kingdom living through god's word i didn't say knowledge and understanding just of scriptures you must have the knowledge and the understanding of the kingdom life how god designed for us to live in the kingdom to live the victorious life john chapter 11 verse 9 and 10 john chapter 11 thank you jesus the lord shows me the angels of the lord in this place i prayed specifically i listened to prophet bob jones a great prophet of god and he said a day came he was caught up in the spirit and he met an angel and the name of that angel is breakthrough and the angel told him that he was the one who walked with archbishop ben idahosa he didn't know idahosa from anywhere he told him there was a nigerian called archbishop ben idahosa god sent him to be the one to walk i said lord would you send these angels of breakthrough tonight because you gave me a word and the lord told me he will do it and so i believe that the the I've, I've never really had encounters with breakthrough angels i've had encounters with angels but not breakthrough angels but i know that these visions that the lord keeps playing again and again is a sign that the waters are about to stay stirred. blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance let's finish up john 11 verse 9 and 10 jesus answered are there not 12 hours in the day if any man walk in the day he stumbleth not because he seeth the light of this world but if a man walk in night in the night he stumbleth because there is no light in him he didn't say because his eyes is not seen there is no light in him he said the entrance of thy word giveth light and understanding to the simple it's time to go for knowledge revelation knowledge not just religion and tradition content for it brothers and sisters please listen to me knowledge is not a gift it's acquired you go for knowledge john 8 32 i must show you these scriptures before we rise up because god will do great things tonight in this place and ye shall know the truth john 8 32 and the truth shall do what he didn't say and a man of god shall make you free he didn't say and a miracle service shall make you free are you listening to me and ye shall know the truth 
and the truth that you know is capable of making you it didn't say set you free it may not happen in one day make you free there is a making that is unto freedom and ye shall know the truth and the activity of that truth in your spirit will bring you to a realm of freedom and ye shall know the truth go for knowledge value knowledge Ecclesiastes 10 verse 15 Ecclesiastes chapter 10 the presence of God there is a switch in anointings in this place thank you ah, Elohim Elohim Madonna Ah, ah, ah. the labor of the fool weary yet every one of them because he knoweth not how to go into the city he said the labor of the fool weary yet him not because there is no city he does not know how to go to the city so you must find out how to go to the city the labor of the fool weary yet him because he does not know how to go to the city may the lord show us the way to the city in the name of the lord jesus number three obedience to god's principles the keys that will bring breakthrough number one is total surrender to jesus number two is knowledge and understanding of the kingdom life through the word of god three obedience to god's principles and i wrote here at all cost because many of us only obey according to the convenience it brings the bible says jesus was obedient unto death philippians 2 from verse 5 permit this mind to be in you which was so also in christ jesus who although being in equality with god did not consider it robbery but he humbled himself and became obedient unto death and he died even the death on the cross wherefore god so highly exalted him and given him an identity a reputation an office a name that is above every other name that are the mention that whenever you invoke and place a demand upon that office of the christ every knee will bow of things in heaven of things in the earth and tonight some knees will bow in your life oh some knees will bow hallelujah obedience isaiah 1 verse 19 popular scripture although many of you don't know it because you don't care about it if ye be willing it starts by saying if if it's up to you if ye be willing and obedient what will happen ye shall eat the good of the land can i tell you every land has good it's not just in abuja and lagos when the devil wants to kill some people he gives them visa to london america china because they believe there are people sleeping under the bridge in america there are nigerians sweeping the road and sleeping under the bridge in uk there are i was reading a, a newspaper about a path that people follow to go to london through lagos they follow through deserts and die on the way ask them what they are looking for they say greener pastures but my bible tells me the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he the lord makes me lie down in green pastures he leads me beside the quiet waters he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness for his namesake the bible says yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil for thou art with me thy rod and thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies satan does not need to be absent before you get blessed he said you anoint my head with oil and my cup runneth over Deuteronomy 28 verse 1 and 2 and it shall come to pass in that day 
if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to observe and to do all his commands which I command thee this day that the Lord will set you on high above all nations verse 2 and these blessings shall come upon you and will overtake you if you will obey the blessings of obedience are priceless these blessings will come upon you and they will overtake you say i receive grace to be obedient at all costs i receive grace obedience in walking in the principles of god obedience in tithing obedience in giving obedience in declaring god's word obedience in standing firm haven't done all to stand stand Number four, and this is our job tonight, exercise dominion over Satan and demons. Exercise dominion. Take action. Do something about them through the ministry of prayer and the operation of the anointing. Make sure you are writing it the way I'm saying it through the ministry listen you don't just exercise authority over satan just by speaking elijah was a man of like passions like us the bible says and the bible says he went and he prayed that there be no rain for three and a half years it was on account of that prayer he went and he made a decree true decree is born out of the place of prayer you don't just stand and say be healed go be free I speak to your life no sir the sons of Sceva did not know the secret of Paul he said I thank my God I pray in tongues more than ye all and they saw the man who was possessed of demons because their father was a priest the Bible does not tell us what kind of priest and they adjured the demon in the God that Paul preaches and the demon beats them and strip them off you exercise dominion in the place of prayer and through the ministry of the anointing you dislodge satan mark 1 27 the bible says while jesus was teaching like i'm doing the power of god was present the power of god the anointing the unction for performance the ability of god that backs his word and makes it potent as jesus was teaching just like i'm teaching and miracles are already taking place shiftings alignments that close the door that have been opened for Satan to find access in lives and families. As Jesus taught. Matthew 8, 16. After prayer, you speak, you declare. The Bible says, he casted the devils with his word. He didn't cast them with his wish. He didn't cast them with his dream. He didn't cast them with his choruses. He casted them with his word. Listen, the Bible did not say he casted them with his speaking. He casted them with his word. It's not your speaking that drives devils. It's the word of God. That's why you can just lay hands on a demon. Even without speaking. Because you have been so full of the word that you are becoming the word. So when you lay hands, what heals the person is the word. The manifestation of the word. The goal of taking in the word is that you become a manifestation of the word yourself. Not just that you know the word. That you become full of the word and then you become an expression of the word. Such that you can look at the devil and just point at him. Even without speaking, the word is commanding him. Hallelujah. Luke 10 verse 17 to 19 we must read this before we rise up to pray don't worry the time we have is more than enough for God to do a quick work it doesn't take long when the word has entered your spirit Luke 10 verse 17 after he sent the 70 verse 17 and the 70 returned again with joy saying lord please listen get this once and for all even the demons are what 
subject to us say the demons are subject to me please shout it say demons are subject to me demons are subject to me you must believe this all kinds of demons do you know at this time the believers the apostles were not even born again i hope you know jesus just sent them in his name and they came back and said wow even the demons this is the basis of casting out devils and liberating people you cannot deliver someone who is above you are you listening to me even the demons are subject to us not because we are called ourselves through thy name the name of the lord is a strong tower and listen verse 18 and he said unto them jesus speaking now i beheld satan fall as what lightning say after me satan is falling oh say it again satan is falling there's a song we used to sing i have seen sing i know many of you didn't sing it glory be to god glory be to jesus i have seen seen the downfall of satan glory be to god Amen. we didn't have the revelation we we're just singing it but now i know truly that is not a lie like jesus christ i have seen seen the downfall of satan glory be to god glory be to jesus i have seen seen the downfall of satan glory be to god amen hallelujah i believe that song with all my heart right now it's not just the tunes of songs or the the genre that moves me i'm interested in the revelation my faith is hearing i have seen i have seen i don't just get entertained by songs i have seen he said i beheld satan and i saw him fall the bible says judgment was declared upon him in heaven listen tonight we are not trying to fight satan our job is to stand in the victory and enforce it because although god has put all things under his feet we do not yet see all things but we see jesus and we come in the name of that jesus and we legislate on behalf of heaven say amen, amen. now listen out of everything i have taught you the first three we cannot do it for you this is the only one that we can do for you tonight we can be born again for you are you listening to me we cannot get knowledge for you we cannot we cannot do what what's the third one we cannot be obedient for you but such as we have tonight oh there is an agency of the spirit we can command the devil we can stand and agree with you i won't begin to poison you with satanic messages oh have faith you left your home and you came here that's enough faith brother many people died in that accident you have faith right here and you will receive it are you listening to me you left the road that some people some of you traveled from different places i assure you that's enough faith faith can be seen when jesus saw their faith they were tearing the roof many of you walked from wherever you are to come here tonight that's faith blessed be the name of the lord luke 5 verse 7 jesus walked in the anointing in a very powerful way now please be sensitive because we're going to stand up as soon as we stand up we'll move straight into the business of the night what god would want to do Mm. 17 Luke 5 17 and it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and teachers of the law sitting by those who were come out of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem and the what and the what so there is an operation of the anointing and the power of God Jeremiah 30 verse 8 oh do you hear what i hear in the spirit
Jeremiah 30 verse 8 what the Lord will be doing tonight by his spirit for there is no other name for there is no other name thank you Jesus Jeremiah 30 verse 8 for it shall come to pass say amen, amen. oh tonight it will come to pass it shall come to pass in that day saith the lord of hosts that i will break his yoke from off thy neck do you believe this and it shall come to pass saith the lord of hosts that i will break his yoke from off thy neck and i will burst thy bonds and strangers aliens demons are aliens they are strangers they are not supposed to live in this realm and the bible says those strangers shall no more oppress you yes that's the word of god he said it shall come to pass the bible gives them a name it calls them aliens they are strangers they are illegal occupants of your body illegal occupants of your finances illegal occupants of your academics of your life he said it shall come to pass those strangers will not enslave you why will all this happen the last scripture isaiah 10 verse 27 that is why this will be possible 10 27 mm. and it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke he didn't say your yoke his yoke satan's yoke because jesus said my yoke is easy and my burden is light it is time for the new anointing Guard up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage shall be destroyed. I prophesy now is the time for the new anointing. Guard up your loins and be ready. For every yoke of bondage Surely must be broken I'll sing it one more time Now is the time For the new anointing Cut up your loins And be ready For every yoke of bondage Surely must be broken Family bondages whatever it is now is the time there is a new anointing please gird up your faith and be ready for every yoke of bondage every yoke of bondage every yoke of sickness every yoke of failure every yoke of bondage Surely must be broken Every yoke of bondage Surely must be broken This is what he told me Every yoke of bondage Surely must be broken It shall come to pass That the burden That undue limitation of marriage listen let me tell you something there are not many the focus of god tonight is not just healings there are some radical breakthroughs that need to step in for some people are you listening to me for your family for yourself this is why i took out time to teach breakthrough he said and then your light shall break forth as the morning Eastern shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us after tonight's meeting. Eastern shores and the islands will see your light as it rises on us. Eastern shores. I like you to believe. Sing it with me. Hey, and the islands will see. 
point number one lord i surrender totally go ahead and begin to pray they had the word just like we did lord i surrender totally let satan not have any excuse to keep me in poverty to keep me in bondage because as long as you are not surrendered i tell you satan has legal access to your life to your family make sure you are praying Pray and say, Lord, I decree. Please pray for your family. Lord, enough is enough. I surrender everything. I surrender everything. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. You are going to pray and say lord i receive deliverance from laziness mental laziness to go for knowledge to study the word to take god's word seriously there are many of us that need to pray say lord i've not been taking your word seriously but tonight lift your voice in this miracle service i vow and i make a commitment your word over my finances your word over my health your word over my authority Lord, I don't just want to receive from you. I take your word seriously. I believe it. I develop passion for your house. Passion for your word. 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 You are not a man that you should lie. Not the son of man that you should repent. I believe, I believe, I believe. I go for knowledge. I go for knowledge. I buy books. I listen to tapes. I sit under the anointing for my life to change. My mind, deliverance of my mind, a reprogramming, a reprogramming, a reprogramming by the power of the word, by the agency of the Holy Ghost, a reprogramming of my mind. Hallelujah. Knowledge reprograms your mind. It reprograms your mind. Brings you to a realm where you are not walking in antagonism. When you walk in that realm, I tell you, no matter what Satan brings, you will emerge victorious. Your mind has been changed. Do not be conformed to this world, but be it transformed prayer point number three that spirit that works in the sons of disobedience that makes them disobey God's word although you know what the word says difficult in walking in obedience I receive grace to obey lift your voice and pray grace in tithing in giving in praise in worship in love in character satan will not have room in my life grace to obey grace to pray make sure you are praying the bible says pray without season the bible says let the word of christ well in you lord i'm an obedient christian obedience unto death no matter what it will cost me no matter what it will cost me the temporary pain the temporary pleasure the temporary tears i saw in tears i obey i saw in tears i obey i saw in tears i obey i obey god is faithful God is faithful. God is faithful. I meditate on these things. I give myself wholly to them. My profiting appears unto all. Make 
make sure you're praying. Kapata kapala, mampraste kapata kete, rakata pakata. Make sure you're not looking at others. You came for a miracle service. Do I have some prayer warriors in the house? Do I have some prayer warriors in the house? You people are not praying like victorious people. Do I have some prayer warriors? Men of destiny. Those who know their God. Who will be strong and do exploits. Hallelujah. 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 Now listen. Within the next five minutes, hear me. I want you to pray your life out in this last prayer request. Are you listening to me? The final prayer point. You're going to say, Lord, in this place, I'm walking out of that problem. Whether it's a limitation for your family. Are you listening to me? Lift your voice and pray. Come on, travel. Pray like a priest. Say, Lord, others came for joke, but I did not come to joke. I came to take my blessing. I came to take breakthrough. I came to take power. I came to take energy. You can open a door. You can make a way. I believe you. Yes, you can make a way. My God, you can make a way. You are not a man. You will not lie. You are not a man. You will not lie. Pray for your job. Pray for your finance. Pray for your health. That terminal disease. Enough is enough. That terminal disease. That blood disease. Enough is enough. That habit, that habit, that masturbation, that lesbianism, that sexual lifestyle. Enough is enough. That hatred, that bitterness, those nightmares, demons oppressing you. Enough is enough. The devourer over your family. Enough is enough. Pray. Everybody in your family is falling sick. Enough is enough. Stand on the gap. No, 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 no. Like Jacob, I hold on to you. Tonight, I will not let you go. My God, I count you faithful. I will not let you go until you bless me. Change my name. Change my story. Change my name, change my story, change my name, change my story, change my name, change my story. Hallelujah. Kateka Paya. Change our name. Change the stories of families. They call your family failures. They say nothing good can come out of you. Lord, change our story. He said, turn again our captivity, O God. Like the streams of the Negev. They say in your family, they don't give birth. In your family, they don't get married. In your family, nobody gets a job. Nobody can build a house that your father cannot build. There is a God. I bring you news tonight. There is a God. His name is Jesus. He has been lifted. You have been submitting CVs again and again. No job. You have prayed. You have fasted. You are a minister. No growth in your church. We are praying, oh. We are praying. We are praying. Lord, change my father's story. Change
change my mother's story change the story of my family you are God you have done it in the past you have done it in the past you have done it in the past Hallelujah. 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 I tell you, my spirit is mad right now. Tonight, some things will change. Some things must change this night. Oppression in your dreams. You don't tell anybody you are a Christian. But you can't sleep. You can't sleep. Enough is enough. Terminal disease. You know how many times you escape death. Enough is enough. Come on. You have been writing jam. You are brilliant. But you enter the exam hall. You don't know what is happening. Your CGPA is down. Not because you are dull. You know you are not dull. You know you are not dull. Enough is enough. We are still praying. One more minute. One more minute. Change our story. Let the nations know that our God is alive. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven then will I get from heaven and will forgive their sins and I will heal their life. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting. Thank you for lifting my head. When I cry, thank you for lifting. 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 My head. Listen. The Lord wants to set families free right now. This one is not for individuals, but because you represent families. Many of you may not know the hand of Satan in your family, but enough is enough. There is an anointing. Please lift your hands. Pataka patakata. Oh, we mean business tonight. Oh, we mean business tonight. As I begin to pray, listen. The power of God will come on certain people. Know you are representing your family. Your family. Whether it's barrenness, joblessness. My God and my King, whose I am right now. Let the power of God break yokes. Break yokes. Break yokes. In the name of Jesus. Now, 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 break the yokes. God take it inside and outside. I release the power of God. Bring them out. Shake it. Take it. Receive the fire. The fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost. I release the fire. Bring them out. Bring them out, ushers. Barrenness. I cause it. Everything that speaks against you, I cause it tonight. Makapate, rekeposa, mapadike, okoproskepa, rekete, outside, the power of God is touching people, outside, setting families free. Kata kata bala, pate kata, we set the works of darkness on fire, over families, of our lives the devil is a liar by the fire power of the Holy Ghost and he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire 
every kind of cause no divination no enchantment against Jacob the power of God is hitting you I tell you the power of God is touching families receive it right now receive it right now the angels of the Lord moving in the crowd moving in the crowd the angels of the Lord the angels of the Lord the angels of the Lord moving they took her my father for your name's sake my father kata kata balada baka teke 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 that cause of barrenness that cause of barrenness but take it in. the enemy has done this hallelujah Haya. I tell you things are happening in this place there is fire in this place no too hot for any devil and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing I release the anointing the yoke breaking anointing Listen to me. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Tonight, tonight, God is coming in as a warrior in many families. Are you listening to me? See, God told me families. Families have suffered. Families have suffered. Satan, that devil over these families. Go, 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 let God's people go free. Go, go, go. Hallelujah. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Breakthrough is when you break that obstacle by the anointing. You shatter walls that men will know your God is alive tonight don't give excuses don't give excuses get angry say Lord you are touching families you won't pass me this night oh you won't pass me this night hallelujah hold on I see all kinds of oppression over this lady's family. Satan, come out. Go. In the name of Jesus, bring this lady. Let her family go now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her family go. Go. I set your family free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Delay in marriage, all kinds of demonic things.
Hallelujah. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. Ha. You will you will go back and know you came for a miracle service. You have prayed. You have heard the word. God will not fail you. Listen to me. Listen. Now, hear me. I want to pray for people. Listen. You know that you have any challenge over your mind and your brain. You are not dull. You know it. See, tonight, there's no hiding anything. We are a family. Don't sit back there and watch Satan wreck your life. Because I'm seeing someone, listen. Every time you want to read, a severe headache comes upon you. You can't explain until you close that book. For all those that belong in this category, lift your hands. Because some things will end right now. I want to pray. Oh, there are angels. In the name that is above every other name. Many of you will literally feel something being pulled off your head. Literally. At the count of three. That's the instruction the Holy Ghost gives me. One. Two. Three. Three. That chain of bondage over your mind. Go ahead and declare, I am free. Declare it. Declare it. Hallelujah. Listen. I wish we had a VG. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Please don't just let them go like that. We are not asking them to come out so people will see them. Come. Madam, look at me. Do you know what brought you out here? Look at me. You are married. You are married where are your children do you know what happened to you because i'm seeing every kind of bondage the devil wants to take the lives of your children i don't know you i've never seen you you believe god will set you free you are a very nice woman i'm seeing an old garment a garment that looks as if they rubbed it inside Porto Porto and wore it on you. But in the name of Jesus, Satan, take your hands off her. Now! Now! By the power of the Holy Ghost. Janet! Janet! I'm hearing a name, Janet. Who is Janet? Please, we have, we, time is not on our side. Janet, there's no Janet here. Please come quickly. Janet. The last three digits of your GSM number is 677. The last three digits of your GSM number 677. Please quickly. 677. Seven. You are Janet. Where do you live? You live in Sabo. Who is sick in your family? You are the one? Come and stand here. My dad and my auntie. The last three digits of your phone is what? 677. Seven. Hallelujah. My dear, let me tell you something. God will bring a miracle in your family that will surprise you. Are you listening to me? Because your family is discouraged right now. They don't even believe that God. They, they are just trying. And if God does not intervene soon, 
they may be tempted to go into ways that are not of God. But there is a God who sits in heaven. Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? We're out of time. Why don't you minister, John, for five minutes just as the Lord grants you revelation before we continue in the name of Jesus. Now, be free by the power of the Holy Ghost. I'm, I'm seeing in the family and in that family, there's one member of your family right now as I'm speaking is behind the bar, is in the cell. I see that some fraudulent things happened that took that member of your family to the cell. God says he want to bring deliverance tonight. Who is that person? Just lift up your hands. I'm seeing your family member. I'm seeing one of your family members in the prison cell right now. A physical prison cell. God says he's going to bring deliverance tonight. I see that there are some things that transpired that had to do with fraud. Father Lord, we declare in the name of Jesus tonight. We declare supernatural breakthrough. We declare supernatural deliverance for such one. Let the mercy of God speak over that one and bring him out now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I declare mercy. I declare mercy for such one in the name of the Lord Jesus. I'm hearing the Lord give me the name Naomi. And I'm seeing Naomi with an infirmity in her body. I don't know who that Naomi is. I'm seeing an infirmity around Naomi's stomach. If Naomi is here, just lift up Naomi, your hands. Naomi, are you here? Quickly, please, let's save time. If Naomi is here, just lift up That's your hands. Naomi coming, quickly. Please, let's save time. Just, just, just put your hands on your stomach right now in the name of Jesus. That sickness that you have been carrying for a long time, I command you be healed right now in the name of Jesus. I break that yoke of darkness and I command total wholeness in the name of Jesus. Even that ailment that has to do with toilet and infirmity, I flush it out of your body right now in the name of Jesus. And you live here supernaturally free in the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed in the name of Jesus. For the Lord is tonight bringing breakthroughs for family, even with respect to business. God specifically speak about business breakthroughs for family. Amen. Business breakthroughs for family. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we prophesy tonight. We prophesy breakthroughs for family business. Amen. We prophesy breakthrough for family Amen. business. We prophesy breakthrough for family business. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aaron, the Lord says there shall be no death in the name of the Lord Jesus. For I'm seeing someone in your family, I don't know, maybe an auntie or a cousin, but someone in your family that is Yoruba by tribe. I'm seeing someone in your house right now. And I know that you are from Kaduna State. For I see a stint of death over that life. But the Lord said that you have it tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. Who is that person? Because I'm seeing the person right now in your house. It's my auntie. Yeah. Seeing her right now in your house, I'm seeing the sting of death over her life. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I break, I break that yoke and I command that deliverance right now. I command that deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. For the spell is broken and her soul is escaped. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Mommy, put your hands on your body. For I see the Lord doing a work of healing even around your stomach region. Am I saying the truth? I'm seeing something in your stomach right now, an ailment that the Lord is uprooting. And Lord, I declare in the name of Jesus, I command that you'll be broken. Be broken in the name of Jesus. I declare total healing tonight. Total healing tonight. Total healing tonight. And for I see certain pains in your life that even has to do with marriage that the Lord is healing tonight. In the name of the Lord Jesus, it is done. It is done. Father, we thank you. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Josiah, just come and hold my hands. God says there shall be no death. God says there shall be no death. Lord, in the name of Jesus, I pray for his family and I declare tonight that there shall be no death in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It is done. It is done. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Jesus. This fair lady, look at me. Are you from the east? Are you from the east? Come. Father Lord, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. As I look at you, I saw like a figure, like a masquerade. I see like a masquerade that danced around your family. That's what I see. And the Lord says there are certain stagnation. There are certain limitations that the enemy has brought. Even yoke that has to do with marriage in your family. But the Lord says tonight, he breaks that yoke in the name of Jesus. I command marital breakthrough. Marital breakthrough. In the name of the Lord Jesus. For I'm seeing a family member somewhere around Onicha. I'm seeing your immediate family member somewhere around in Onicha. For they have been struggling. And these ones I'm talking about, they have been struggling. Business is not moving, even marriage. But I break that yoke tonight in the name of Jesus. I declare breakthrough. I declare that the council of darkness is broken. In the name of Jesus. It's an to hear. Come, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'd like you to turn. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. For I see a yoke that the enemy brought upon your life. And at a certain point, you had an encounter like, like a demonic spirit in the, in the form of a woman touch your hair and touch something around your hair. And you woke up with a strange experience around your hair. And from that time, certain sickness began to come upon your life. Am I speaking the truth? And it looked as though your hair was not going to grow and you were afraid. But I break that yoke in the name of Jesus. I declare supernatural growth. The sign that the Lord will give to you is that supernaturally, within the span of three months, supernaturally, your hair is going to grow. There's going to be supernatural growth in the name of Jesus. That yoke is broken. No more molestation in the seasons of the night for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are free. You are free. You are free. I declare, I, 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 I see right now, I cannot call some of the names that the Lord is giving me. But I'm seeing certain ladies that you have been oppressed. You see like people come to sleep with you in the night. I declare right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the fire of your deliverance come upon such ones. Let the fire of your deliverance come upon such ones. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you praise and we bless you. We give you praise and we bless you. You are free. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the inconsistency with your health, I declare total freedom to you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the yoke is broken. The yoke is broken right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You, Jesus. All right. Well, while Jake's ministers, if you invited someone who is sick, please let them come out now. If you brought someone, if you are an invitee, you came and you brought, uh, you are in need of a special. I want to minister to those who left. If you came with someone, please um, just let them come here. While Jake's ministers, please let's be sensitive. We're out of time and we have to be fast. Hallelujah. Quickly, Father, quickly, please, so that we minister. Just quickly, I'll pray for two cases. Please listen because two cases the Lord reveals to me. No, just leave the people um, if they are under the anointing. Just let them, just shift them. Please are, come, stand here quickly. I think there are people, specifically your right leg, your right leg. It's almost as if it's a paralysis. There's an, please come. There's those a, who are those who are in need of a form of a healing. You from came your bones. specifically. Sorry, your right leg specifically. Just lift up your hands wherever you are. Then the next set of people, um, there's somebody with, it's not migraine. You are feeling it as, like a screw right in front of your head here, right in front of it. Who is that person? Just quickly lift up your hands. I'll pray with you right now. Quickly lift up your hands. Just lift up your hands. Those cases I call, whether outside, inside, lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Just lift up your hands. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask that healing comes upon you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. That pain you feel in your head. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pull it out right now in the name of Jesus. And the pains in your bones. That form of paralysis coming upon your right leg. In the name of Jesus Christ. 
I release the healing power of God upon it right now. The healing power of God comes upon it right now. Right in the bones. Your nerves will begin to reconstruct right now in the name of Jesus. Because God is touching your... Yeah, somebody, God is touching your knees right now. Your knees. God is touching it and bringing healing. I'm bringing perfection to your knees. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Hallelujah. Now we're out of time, but please, those who came for healing, you, even if you are, not, you are not an invitee, please, it's time for us to minister to you right now. Quickly, let's organize ourselves so we can do this very fast. Please, Pastor Williams. Hallelujah. It's time for us to minister to the sick now. Please, I want you to believe. You came, you came so that we'll pray for you. Don't sit back. Jesus is a healer. Those of you who are standing, please be praying for them and be praying for your families too. Let's do that quickly, quickly. As we pray for you, check yourself. Check yourself. You find out there is power in testimony. Don't just keep quiet. God isn't playing. We are not playing games here, alright? Please, as soon as you are healed, the media people are the ones with the vest. Please locate them very quickly. Very quickly. Hallelujah. Worshippers, help us. Thank you for lifting. 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 My Thank you for lifting my head when I cry, when I pray, then understand you lifted my head when I cry, when I pray. My glory again.
can understand. testimonies and we'll be out please god is doing miracles right now some of those people you can come let's just have a few maybe three or four just as an evidence of what god is doing please just file up here quickly we'll take your testimonies okay let's just say quickly quickly please i was blind now i see all right let's save time we're late praise the lord praise the lord the lord is good actually i want to testify to the goodness of god for my life i was involved in a car accident that claims so many lives and god spared me what happened this night right now something mysterious happened this night my legs quite all right were not contracted his legs one was shorter who saw me praying for him here one leg was shorter than the other and he could not bend it because of the accident i couldn't bend it because of the accident but as the man of god just prophesied and prayed for me suddenly what i couldn't do before i can jump what on you, it. Oh, okay, i can do it jump. now do it now right now. i can do it more than i could ever imagine myself what couldn't you do how were you walking before walking, but, but you could not bend your leg because now, one was short and the bone was pinched okay now let's do what you couldn't do hallelujah Lord, it praise is, the lord is in jesus name god bless you hallelujah for some time now i've had a um, little problem the right side of my abdomen i don't know what it is but it's been there it's a pain i've been feeling for i didn't come out with the reason that while the word was going on i received him hallelujah hallelujah god bless you please rise up quickly in the name of the Lord Jesus, I want to prophesy right now upon your life. Every door, every door that has been closed over your family, whether financially, whether maritally, katapa kapo kasipa, rakatoba kasupete malanaba. Now, in the name of the one who we serve. 
Jesus the Christ. I command that door open in the name of Jesus. Every barren woman in this place or everybody that is representing a barren family, I don't care if it's 100 years. The spirit that came upon Sarah, even when her body has been dead, I invoke the power of the Almighty and I pray right now. The Bible says, Children are a heritage from the Lord. Receive miracle babies in the name of Jesus. Every project that you have started, all your loved ones, and you have not been able to complete. I give three months from today and I prophesy. I don't care whether it's a house, whatever. Receive the miracle in the name of Jesus. You've been trusting God for a job. You have submitted CVs. You've done whatever. I pray to the one who promotes men, who can take a man from a dung hill. I pray right now in the name that is above all names without connection without bribery without godfatherism receive a lucrative job in the name of jesus hallelujah every shop every business that is dying or dead here come alive come alive come alive come alive, come alive. Come alive come alive in the name of jesus every terminal disease here hiv hepatitis ss migraine hole in the heart heart problem infection hallelujah reproductive challenges if it has a name it has a knee right now i command it to bow and get out of your body in the name of jesus those demonic dreams like Janfa said of all kinds of satanic molestation whether sleeping with you in the night or bedwetting or all kinds of things right now kapatika rekete kotobaka in the name of jesus i command it to be broken forever in the name of jesus anyone who is mentally derailed whether you or a member of your family we command right now let there be perfect sanity this very hour in the name of jesus those of you who are due for promotion whether it's in your jobs or you are standing in for your families i pray right now i invoke the power that took joseph from the well and in one day made him a prime minister may the lord lift you beyond your qualification receive it in the name of jesus everyone here whose prayer life has gone down whose word life has gone down you just watch your bible like a newspaper and a dictionary you pray for five hours and you are sleeping right now the bible says quicken us and we shall call upon your name let the spirit of prayer and supplication fall upon you fall upon you fall upon you fall upon you let a passion and a desire for the word of god a passion mental laziness i curse you in the name of jesus every habit that you came here with although you are a christian although you are born again there are all kinds of terrible habits from pornography masturbation every kind of devilish attitude lesbianism whatever it is called right now i set that devil on fire in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus anyone here who is on drugs or smoking hallelujah or on all kinds of of drugs or medical things that you use to hype yourself and hallucinate and do all kinds of demonic things 
without withdrawal symptoms we break it now and forever in the name of Jesus if there is any of your family member who has been missing who has been missing that they are looking for him the Bible says the prophet told he told um, Saul he said the ass that your father is looking for has been found he didn't tell us who found it we pray in the name of Jesus that by the ministry of angels let your missing loved ones be found in the name of Jesus I pray for your academics right now a new session is about to start for those of you who have cried in the past I prophesy to you remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for tonight the Lord does a new thing he will rewrite your story receive it in the name of Jesus those who are students are on project you should have finished but your supervisors are making things difficult I pray in one night Pharaoh who said I will not let the Israelites go the Bible says they spoil the Egyptians you will not only go you will go honorably in the name of Jesus those who are awaiting admission in the name that is above all names in the name that is above all names we give you admission in this place in the name of Jesus without bribery without corruption let the Lord put your name in the admission list. Hallelujah. And every strange manifestation of sickness in your body that you cannot explain, but you can't deny the effect. I pray right now that every demonic manipulation disguising itself as sickness, we curse it by the light of God's power and we set you free from it. In the name of Jesus did you bring prayer requests is there prayer requests okay while I pray usher stand at the edge please everybody just pass your prayer request to the last person we are still praying we're out of time pass your prayer request outside just pass it to the last person on your left now or right please let's do it quickly the prayer requests are not it's not just a formality we believe it's a prophetic contact we cannot pray for everybody one by one and there are people who are not able to be here for one reason or the other listen let me tell you the scriptural backing of prayer request the bible says when the nations rose up against hezekiah they wrote a letter the bible says he took the letter and brought it to god in the temple and place his request and say lord look at this threat hallelujah and god used the prophet and gave them victory please write quickly write things that are consistent with the scripture don't write god kill my mother no we won't pray that kind of prayer for you here Please, quickly, quickly, ushers, help us. Let's do that quickly so that we can tidy up everything. Because everything you came in your heart with God will step in and do it. Regardless of whether we are mentioning it or not, mm -mm. once you are in this atmosphere, just know that you are walking out free. All right, pass it quickly to the ushers. Ushers, let's have it. Please come up with it so that we can pray whenever I call you you will answer me whenever I call on you you will answer me Elijah called on you and you answered him the apostles called on you and you answer them Abraham called on you and you answer them this is why we know whenever we call you 
you will answer us whenever we call on you you will answer us see take this prayer request thing seriously if you don't believe it don't write it please it's not just a religious jamboree we really mean it god answers prayers in this house please let's save time very quickly God is changing stories of families upgrading the quality of your life bringing you to a place where you will know that your God is alive giving you a testimony of being proud to be a Christian for there is no one like my God there is no one, there is no one like my God. There is no one, there is no one like Quickly, my ushers. God. There is no one, there is no one like my God. There is no one, there is no one like my God. Let's have the ushers run with the prayer requests. Please make sure you participate. Please turn it, turn it. Make sure you participate in everything we are doing. It was packaged by God for you. There's a footballer that just dropped just dropped a prayer request to someone close to the door you are a footballer i don't mean you like playing ball you are a footballer is what you are doing who is that person outside you are a footballer there is no one there is no one stand up don't kneel down look at me god is going to honor you are you listening to me but you must represent jesus christ the football field is a ministry it's not a place to look for money and put in your pocket yes the financial rewards will come but realize you are an ambassador hallelujah don't be afraid of jesus christ because you are playing football wealthy football people are careless they do all kinds of things with money from drugs to ladies and they live a life of vanity and after years of representing their clubs they have nothing to show for it in eternity and in this realm may that not be your portion the lord says i should pray for you because many people do not believe that football can be a ministry god is sending you to the sports be disciplined ladies money pride pack your load and run away from these three things hallelujah make sure you are disciplined don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy if you deny and reject the god that is taking you he will only step out and you will come back hallelujah the bible says only a fool will say in his heart there is no god so we pray for you let the anointing of the spirit cause you to prosper let there be grace that you will play skillfully let there be grace that you will play skillfully in the name of jesus please let me ask the servants of god please just come out quickly We'll do this in one minute everybody stand up stretch your hands as though you are receiving we are praying for you go ahead and let's begin to pray we believe in praying for the requests we believe in praying for the requests lord bring miracles in the name of jesus you are a miracle worker we do not doubt this there are situations here that only you can change lord this week let this week be a week of change we invoke it let this be a week that you cause laughter to come upon our lips and that of our families you are able let this week let this month not end without you giving testimonies in the name of jesus we receive these prayers we receive the answers
do impossible things. Let marriages, health, whatever challenge. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you in Jesus' name. Lord, we pray that even as they are written here, so shall they be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. No one will be left out in Jesus' name. Thank you for families that are delivered in the name of Jesus. Thank you for marriages. Thank you for admission. Thank you for breakthrough financially here and there in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I prophesy no limits in your life. We stand with you under the anointing to break limits. This week, you will share a testimony that you, not be, you did not believe will happen. In your life and in your family. If you believe it, let there be a shout. This week, this week, this week, in the name that is above all names, this week, I provoke it, I prophesy it, financial miracles, miracles of health, promotion, jobs, if God be God, this week, this week, in the name of Jesus, restoration this week, restoration this week, well, you don't believe it, I know I believe it, restoration in the name of Jesus, joy in the name of Jesus, breakthrough, real breakthrough, Many of you have not known what a breakthrough looks like. I provoke it by the faith of the Son of God. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Lastly, lift your hands. I release an anointing upon you. Oh yes, you will always be distinguished. Please lift your hands. In the next one minute, I want to pray. We always do this. You will go to be miracle workers. Hallelujah. Therefore, at the count of three, in the next one minute lord let your power let your unction for a new level you must be full of the holy ghost at the count of three the power of god will come upon people please everybody receive please everybody receive my god will do it in the next one minute inside and outside to cap up this meeting holy ghost go ahead one two three take it take it take it take it, take it. Take it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. Everyone under the sound of my voice, if you can hear me, let your spirit be open. Receive it, receive it, inside and outside, a new level. Receive it, receive it, receive it. That fire, that anointing, now, now, let your life be upgraded, let your business be upgraded, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh unction, fresh favor, favor, the favor anointing, take it, the favor anointing, take it, receive it, supernatural grace, favor, Grace to heal the sick. Grace to cast out devils. Hallelujah. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. There are many of us here who the Lord is inviting. I talked about total surrender to God. And while you sat down listening to me, the Holy Ghost began to speak to you. The Bible says in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your heart as it were in the days of the provocation. Therefore I pray, God is ready to give everyone rest. Either you've given your life to Christ and you found yourself falling by the wayside again. Or this is your first time of making a decision for Jesus. Please leave your seat and run out here quickly. Appreciate them, they are coming. Appreciate them, they are coming. Leave your seat and come. Let no devil hold you. Hallelujah. Appreciate them. They are coming. Appreciate them. God bless you, my sister. Inside and outside, the Lord is calling you. Please leave your seat and come. The miracle of being born again. The Bible says heaven rejoices.
please motivate them. Come on, keep clapping. Sow your clap as a seed towards their salvation. We believe in salvation. We believe in soul winning. Welcome home. Welcome home. We do not condemn you. Welcome home. No matter what you have done. No matter what you have done. Jesus loves you. Please appreciate them. Appreciate them. We came here because of you. This is the biggest miracle. Bigger than any healing. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much for coming. Please quickly pray this prayer. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Please as loud as you can. Lord Jesus, I love you. And I believe in you. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. And this night, by the power of God, I repent of my sins. In the name of Jesus, I receive grace and eternal life in my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. In the name of Jesus, I declare that I'm born again. Hallelujah. I'm a child of God. In the name of Jesus, I denounce sin and Satan. My name is in the book of life. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Thank you, sweetheart. Look at this poor lady. Can you please appreciate her? Look at this lady making a decision for Jesus. I love you and God bless you. Let me pray with you. Father, preserve these ones in the name of Jesus. Thank you because they have honored you to make a real decision for Jesus. We decree that no going back. We break you from all the things that will attempt to take you back. We declare that from today you are moving forward in life and in eternity. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much. Please just follow the ushers. We'll have your information in one minute and you'll be back. Hallelujah. You're worshiping with us for the first time. This is your first time of coming for our meeting. This is Koinonia. We want to pray for you in one minute. Please, for time's sake, we'll plead that you just run out here quickly. Please rise up on your feet and come outside. We know that there are those who were invited. Thank you. God bless those who invited you. If you invited anybody here, I pray that God will invite men to bless you. In the name of Jesus, you invited every anyone here, whether your family members. I prophesy upon your life, and I mean it. I prophesy upon your life. May God invite your destiny helpers to connect you to the place of destiny. Keep clapping, they are coming. Keep clapping, they are coming. Glory to Jesus. Yahweh. for coming this is eternity network international hallelujah and this is our friday program called koinonia this is a miracle service thank you so much for coming taking out time and the sacrifice to be here we love you and we appreciate you i assure you that you will never be the same whatever you came here with i pray that the god of israel the god we serve will give you a real testimony that you will know that jesus is alive in the name of jesus we want to pray and prophesy over you we believe that we are anointed and if we pray for you, the Lord will answer you. Saints of God, stretch your hands and just bless them. Give them a testimony. This is our prayer for you. Lord, a real testimony that they don't need to tell others they came for Koinonia. Give them a testimony that their works will speak for them at the gates. In the name of Jesus, impossible miracles. Let the Lord do it for you. If you've never had a passion for the Lord, we put a passion for the kingdom in you right now that you will love the lord with all your heart you will love him more than money more than life whatever in the name of jesus thank you father bless our brothers and sisters our fathers and mothers uncles and aunties who came all over in this city and around this nation i pray in the name of jesus that the lord will give you a real breakthrough that this week even as we are prophesied the Lord will give you a mighty breakthrough. We thank you for coming and we pray that the Lord will bless you.
Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.